everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. And today we're going to talk about Squarespace SEO, specifically the beginner stuff. So if you have a new site or maybe you've had a site for a bit, but you haven't really thought about SEO, this is for you. And I'm going to try and make this as easy to understand as possible because you've probably heard of SEO by now. You've probably maybe did some searches and you could be overwhelmed by all the techie jargon and you're not really sure where to start. So this video is for you. So my first bit of advice is to not try and outsmart the search engine. So search engines are very, very smart. And if you're doing sort of spammy, um, strategies to try and outsmart them, you're doing something called black hat SEO. So this includes things like keyword stacking, clickbaity titles, spammy descriptions, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and this will probably give you an increase in the short term, but search engines will find this out and you'll lose their trust and they'll probably block your site. So you want to avoid any of these kind of strategies to outsmart the search engine and shift your mindset instead to building trust with them. So whenever you're thinking about, you know, is this going to help my SEO or is it going to harm my SEO? You want to ask yourself two questions. So there's two main goals when it comes to SEO. And these are the questions you need to ask yourself. One, will this help search engines know what my site is all about? Okay, so will this communicate who I am and what my site is about? Number two, will this build trust with the search engines? So basically you want to communicate who you are and build that trust so that search engines know you are who you say you are and that people want to be on your site. So how do you accomplish those goals? What do you do? Well, there's three aspects to SEO. The first is the technical SEO. And this is all the settings and techie stuff you can do to communicate who you are, what your site is about, and make sure that you're providing a great secure user experience. This is the side of things that everybody gets stuck on because you can go very in depth with the tech side of stuff. You can just keep going and going and finding more stuff to do. And so people get very overwhelmed. So how do I know? I don't know all of the settings. How do I do this? But this is not the most important aspect to focus on. Yes, you want to have some of these strategies. You want to make sure that you're communicating to Google. You want to make sure that you are providing a good user experience that's mobile friendly, et cetera, et cetera. But the second aspect is actually the one that you should focus on the most, and that is amazing content. You can have all the techie stuff you want in the world, but if people are not staying on your site and enjoying and consuming the content you're producing, then you're not gonna have any rankings. People aren't gonna be searching for what you're looking for, even if you have the best keywords for that. Um, so yes, the, the tech side is important, um, but try not to get hung up on that and instead focus on providing amazing content. Okay, so the best way to do that is to make sure that you are doing market research and producing content that your ideal client wants to consume. And the third bit is backlinks. Um, so this means getting other sites to link to your site. Um, and I actually have some backlinks in this particular blog article. If you scroll down, you'll see great resources to, um, you know, other resources to look at. Those are backlinks for those companies. <clears throat> and this gives your website authority. Okay, so this is a good way to build trust um, with search engines and know that other people are sharing your content as well. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you. So I'm going to go over some of the things you can do to get started and make sure that you are on the right track. So the first thing is to make sure that your website is secure. So you're going to go to settings, advanced, SSL, and you want to make sure it's set on secure and that you have HSTS secure turned on. That means that people are going to be forced to use the secure version of your site, which again is making sure you're providing a good user experience and that Google knows they can trust you, that you have a secure site. So you're gonna make sure you have both of those turned on and click save. The next thing you want to do is to make sure that you are communicating what your site is about using the proper keywords. Um, so you need to do some keyword research to make sure you're using the best keywords for your business. Um, the tool that I recommend is the Google Ads Keyword Planner. So you'll have to create a Google um, account and sign in, and then you can create 
um, or discover new keywords within the keyword planner. You want to try and be specific. For instance, if I'm a Squarespace website designer, I'm not just going to use Squarespace, although I'll put Squarespace multiple times throughout my site so that it's, you know, people know I'm a Squarespace designer and not, you know, WordPress or ShowIt or Wix or something like that. I don't want to make sure Squarespace is on there, but I might want to be a little bit more specific. So I'm going to try Squarespace website designer. I'm going to click get results and it will tell me whether that is a good keyword to use or not. So what I'm looking for is I want to know that people are searching that keyword um, and I want the competition to be fairly low. So the keyword that I've provided has medium competition and not a lot of searches. Um, so that might not be something that I want to make sure I'm ranking for specifically. Maybe I want to find some of these other words here. So Squarespace website builder, maybe Squarespace designer, there's different um, kind of variations of that word that I might want to use throughout my site. So you want to build a list of keywords and keyword variations that you can use throughout your site. So I'll come into Google Ads Keyword Planner and play around with that. Another good thing to do with Google is just to type it in Google and see how many results come up. Um, so this has quite a few results. Um, and so I wanna make sure maybe I'm using some different variations or getting more specific. And I'll come down here to the bottom where it has other related searches and kind of look at the different words that they're using. So maybe Squarespace Expert is a word to use, design packages. Um, things like that. So I'll go through the keyword planner, I'll go through Google, and there's lots of other strategies and stuff you can find for doing keyword research. But essentially, you want to build up a list of words to use on your site that will help communicate who you are and what you do. And then there's several spots on Squarespace we want to put this in. So the first thing is obviously through our content, you want to make sure those keywords are in your headings. Heading one being the most important heading. I usually suggest only one heading one per page. I know there's some um, debate of whether having more than one heading one affects your SEO or not, but I like to think of it as my heading one is kind of like my book title. Um, and then my heading twos are like chapter title, heading threes are subtitles and so on. And so I'll have one heading one at the top and I'll try and put some keywords inside of that heading one and throughout the content um, of my site. So again, search engines know who I am and what I'm about. Then we also want to do this in all of our page and site titles and descriptions. Um, so we're going to go to pages. And then along your pages, you have these gear icons and essentially you wanna fill out as much information inside of these as possible. So you're gonna click on the gear icon next to a page, make sure the page title um, is something that you know, tells what the page is about, maybe has a keyword in there. Same with URL slug, try and keep it nice and simple, especially if this is a page you're gonna be sharing to users a lot. Um, when I first started, I tried to, you know, throw keywords into all my URLs. And then every time I wanted to share my pricing page or something, I had to look up what the URL was. So I suggest keeping it simple, but making sure that under the SEO tab, your SEO title in description is filled out, that um, your SEO title is fairly short um, and simple, but has some keywords and your description is between about 50 to 300 characters. Again, making sure that it makes sense. You're not keyword stacking in here. You want to make sure that this is read by humans. It's going to be shown on your site when it shows up in Google. So make sure it's, you know, full sentences um, or shortened sentences that make sense to a human, but are applicable to the page that they're going to be clicking on and have keywords throughout that. So you're going to go and do that for all of your pages. Click on the gear icon, page title, URL slug, SEO title and description. Um, and then on your home page, um, when you click on the gear icon for the home page and you go to SEO, you'll see it says edit website SEO settings. You're gonna click on that. And then in here, you can set your homepage title and description, all of your pages, like the second half of your pages and items uh, description as well. So right now, um, the SEO title for the homepage is just set as the site title, um, but you may want to change that. If it's your name, you might want to put, you know, Squarespace expert after it or something like that. So mine is, you know, Rebecca Grace, 
Squarespace expert and website designer or something like that. And then in the site title description, again, same as before, but this one is mainly for your business as it's your homepage. And then you can flip over to pages and items as well and change that. So this is where you change that second half of it. In the gear icon is where you've set this first part of it and you can change the second part of it by changing here. And same with your items, which is like your products, your blog posts, your events and things like that. Okay, you can also inside of here, see their um, Squarespace's SEO checklist. You can see um, Google search keywords and things like that and how to do keywords through that. And you can hire an SEO expert if that is what you decide to do. And then the last kind of techie thing that you want to do to make sure that you have a good start is to submit a sitemap to Google Search Console. This helps the search engines to index and, and go through your site to see the structure of your site and how your site is set up. I have a different um, blog post that I have linked um, in this post and below um, on how to do that. This is a whole kind of thing on itself. So go see that post on how to submit your sitemap, but you want to go through and do that. And then I want you to focus on content. So you have kind of the basic tech thing set up, go and focus on content, publishing out the content that your um, ideal client wants to consume, make sure it's good quality content um, so that they're staying on your site um, for, you know, an extended period of time and not kind of looking at your site and clicking back out. So you want to build that um, time that people are staying on your site and being invested in your content. Then once you've done that and you decide you wanna dive into the tech aspect more and get some backlinks and things like that, um, then you can dive deeper into all of those settings. Um, if you're interested in that, I do have a SEO course for Squarespace that goes into all of the techie things that you can do on the back end of the site to make sure that you are being ranked in searches. So if you like this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if you're on my blog, you can sign up for the freebie in my footer so that you can be notified whenever I post a new tutorial. Until then, that is how you get started with SEO for Squarespace.